Chen Gri. The Chen Gri aka Gri de San Louis, Gray St. Louis Hound, was a breed of dog, now extinct, which originated in medieval times. Like the Chen de saint Tutbert, it was a scent hound, and formed part of the royal packs of France, which were composed, from about 1250 till 1470, exclusively of hounds of this type. According to King Charles IX, 1550 to 1574, they supposedly were introduced to France through St. Louis, i.e. King Louis IX, 1226 to 1270, who had encountered these hounds while a prisoner during the Crusades, and subsequently received some as a gift. Old writers on hunting like to ascribe an ancient and remote origin to their hounds, and these were claimed to be originally from Tartary. They were large, and, even though they did not have such good noses, were preferred by the kings to the St. Huberts, which were said to be only of medium size. Jacques Dufouillou, in the 16th century, says they were common, and describes them as gris, gray, on the back with fur recorders and legs tan or red, some having near black hair on the back. They were rough-haired, and were ancestors of the modern French rough-coated griffin breeds. However the rough coats were not mentioned by Charles IX or Dufouillou, and it has been suggested they were acquired later through interbreeding with indigenous French hounds. They were headstrong, wide-casting hounds, inclined to change or overshoot, but determined in their pursuit of a quarry to the death. However, by the 19th century, like the St. Hubert, they had become virtually impossible to find, because of mixed breeding and the effect of the revolution on French hunting. George Turberville translated Dufuyu book on hunting into English, and used the term Dunhound to translate Chen Gri. It is presumed he did not translate it literally as Greyhound to avoid confusion. One finds the term Dunhound in some subsequent writing in English, suggesting that the kind also existed in Britain, and it has been supposed that these Dunhounds went into the makeup of the Bloodhound, accounting for the badgering of the hair in the saddles of some Bloodhounds. However, Turberville did not make it very clear that his book was a translation, and it is highly possible that people mistakenly believed his work was about English hunting. Early references to the Dunhound may simply come from people relying, like Nicholas Cox, on Turberville, and it is quite possible that the Dunhound was never a significant animal in British hunting.